everybody, it's Julian. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California, and welcome to part three of my top 10 series, my quarterly series that I like to put up on the channel featuring 10 of my plant babies that I'm absolutely adoring in cacti, succulents, and houseplants. So this is episode three. So in today's episode, part three, because we went over cacti, went over succulents, now we're going over houseplants. And boy, was this a very hard category to do. I was struggling picking only 10 succulents and cacti, guys. But when I sat down right now to think about the top 10 that I currently love for houseplants, that was very hard for me. Also, I wanted to go ahead and wear the rumper again because you guys thought it was a top, but it's actually a one piece so it's shorts and i absolutely love it i got the dress that i wore in my top 10 uh, for succulents and this rumper in hawaii in my hometown of hilo the last time i went home i got it and it's super cute so i wanted to wear it again for today's video i think it's crazy because now that i'm like about to sit down and do the last episode for the quarterly series a lot of them are new babies and you guys know i absolutely love george but I'm gonna probably maybe not include him in today's video because he already won my plant awards for 2018 for planting with Julian plant awards 2018 2019 so he already is reigning for number one he will always be in my heart but it's kind of crazy guys because a lot of them are philodendrons I want to talk about the first one that actually is pretty new in my collection I think what I'm gonna do guys is start off with maybe my smaller plants because for some reason I picked a lot of large plants for today's episode. So the first plant I want to talk about which is no stranger to the channel. So this is my spotted begonia maculata. This is a dream plant of mine. I got this for my birthday this past year. I wanted to give you guys an update as well. It's doing pretty good. It's living on my DIY shelf in my bathroom. Again like these crispy leaves came with the plant. I still have it attached to it but I think maybe sooner than later when I see more leaves popping out, I'll go ahead and I'll propagate it. Begonias are very easy to propagate, so I think what I'm gonna do is once I see more baby leaves popping out, I'll probably go ahead and propagate the crispy leaves that came with the this plant. It's so rare where I live where I didn't wanna go ahead and just chop it off. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Should I keep the crispy leaves on or should I just propagate it? I just feel like if I take it off, like there won't be much left of the plant and I paid a lot of money for this plant. So it's living currently in a plant that I got actually from Orchards, which is no longer open. It was a hardware store nearby my home, but I love me a nice variegated plant, especially with spots in an all white planter. So this is living in my bathroom full time. So this will always be probably part of my top 10 just because it is a dream plant of mine. Comment down below guys if you have this plant. Um, are you a huge fan of begonias? I have a pretty big begonia collection. Again, this is a rare plant for me so I don't want to take from it as far as for like pruning it so much. I don't know. We'll see. I'll think about it. But for now, um, yeah, the condition that it's in, I probably will go ahead and prune off. Like see this crispy edge, I'll prune it off. Um, but other than that, I love having this in my collection. This was a dream plant of mine for like two years. My Pelia baby. And this is actually one of the babies I propagated from my mother plant. I'm not going to talk about my mother plant. It's currently living outside right now for a day or two while I'm away in Las Vegas. But I wanted to give you guys a little update because my baby is officially a mommy. Do you guys see that? Now this plant was like a craze plant last year. I remember way over a year ago, I actually bought my first Pelia baby, which is actually about this size. It's living on my plant shelf in my home for over a hundred dollars, about a hundred dollars around there for a tiny little baby. The mother plant of this one was about the same price, but it had four babies. I love this plant so much. And as you can see the dimension of the plant. Now I talk about this on my channel quite often whenever I talk about this plant that there's a bushy type of pilia, pilia, or there is a more spaced out version that's tall and spaced out. I love the tall and spaced out version versus the short bushy ones, which is very common. We see that all around Southern California now, but this style of pilia, pilia, I love a lot. So I'm not gonna sell any of my babies. I invested so much money in them. I just wanna keep them all and propagate and propagate and propagate so i just wanted to give you guys an update on the baby it's officially a mother and even if this is not a really sought out plant as much as it was last year i still love this plant so much so this will continue to stay in my top 10 and i wanted to go ahead and share with you a baby update i have it in a cobalt blue and white planter that i believe i got from home goods 
and this lives on my newest setup in my kitchen area on my baker's rack right by the window so it's getting lots of nice sun uh, baby number three it's somewhere down here so this is baby number three and it's kind of interesting because my begonia that i got for my birthday i also got the peperomia raindrop for my birthday from the same nursery in west hollywood it's kind of funny how my birthday wish list plants ends up making it on the top 10. a lot of new growth i featured this particular plant on my pot of fame for february but you can see that there's little baby raindrops there it is so so adorable guys this again is also a rare plant where i live so it's kind of interesting that i'm picking out plants that are rare that i have in my collection for top 10. you'll see the trend will change very soon but i am in love with this peperomia if you guys haven't watched my julian's collective episode featuring my peperomia collection go ahead and watch that i will hopefully inspire you to love peperomias once you see the collection they're all so different and so fun but i definitely love the peperomia raindrop shape and i'll bring it side by side with my pelia as you can see they're slightly different in shapes but they're so so cute and very different so here's baby number three for today's top 10. so you guys know how much i love this string of hearts i have a variegated one recently in my collection i also have my very matured string of hearts in my bathroom that has been on so many videos i'm not going to bring that one out to share because that has stolen the spotlight many of times this is my newest string of hearts this thing lives like in my hallway section on the door going into the bathroom so it gets light there and from time to time i'll bring it out but this thing gets tangled really easy i like untangled it but just to bring it out here and to sit down and talk about it it just got tangled so i have to be very careful this thing has long trails though and it is blooming and this is slightly different in shape compared to my original string of hearts i don't know how that happens um, but as you can see i love trailing plants and i wanted to go ahead and just feature my newest string of hearts i will also show you what my variegated string of heart looks like which i absolutely love and is also part of my top 10 if i could just in general the string of hearts is my top 10 plants so i want to give a shout out to this one as well so if they can piggyback off of each other i love them both so much the variegated string of hearts and the regular string of hearts but again guys my original string of hearts in my bathroom still is number one in my heart i'll keep you guys posted on my variegated string of hearts again anything variegated does take time to grow um, but i haven't potted this one up so stay tuned in the planting with julian i would like to plant up this and my variegated string of pearls in the same episode and i got the variegated string of pearls from a plant nursery all the way out in santa barbara which is very far from me about a hundred miles from me so not nearby and you know what i should have bought another one just in case this one dies which i will not okay have. i think what i'm gonna do is talk about my next baby which is super big now we're getting into the bigger babies so i got two sense of very will fins recently you guys know i had propagated them there's three fins i could actually refill them up in here if i don't sell them i love this plant so much this is a very expensive plant so if you guys are into sensivarias this is an investment it's not a common sensivaria i do see it um in a lot of different nursery spaces wherever i go but it is very expensive with that being said if you come across this sensivaria and you collect them don't pass this up this is such a statement piece i have this living in my home for the most part because it's been raining a lot my sense of areas are in my home and they do get light from the window they're kind of like where my plant gang is relocated so my plant gang area is not where all my sense of areas live but i don't know we'll see i might have them come out and get some sun over the weekend while i'm away but i wanted to go ahead and include this sense of area in today's top 10. now this whale fin lives in a planter that i got from home goods i just love the aesthetic of the tall planter with the big sensevaria whale fins these are very top heavy so i try to not want to like move them a lot 
um, because no matter how like deep they're in there they, they're very top heavy so I'm gonna go ahead and place this down let me know down in the comments below guys do you have the sense of area will fin are you a sense of area collector I will do a children's collector series featuring my sense of areas once I feel like I have it to kind of where it used to be because you guys know I lost about eight sense of areas while I was away in Egypt from the rain and that just kind of breaks my heart and of course I love the copper tone so much but I didn't want to pick more than one sense of area guys um, so I'm just going to choose this one out of all of my sense of areas in my collection. The copper tone and the wilfin is probably like my favorite. So now I think what I want to do is talk about my philodendron panda. And I have two. I have my original one which you guys see often. I was in I think my previous top 10 houseplants. It was also in my pot of fame for February. The philodendron panda guys is one of my favorite plants. It's so cool and unique and stunning that I had to buy another one when I came across it because I never come across this plant. And I know one time I did, I made Catherine buy it and then I found it again and this one is so big. Um, it's bigger than my original one. I'm gonna show you my newest one so you can see how it's doing and then I'll bring up my original one so you can see them side by side. So here is my newest philodendron panda. Like take a look at the dimension of this plant. No matter where you turn the plant, it is so stunning. There is lots of new growth. This thing was definitely in dying need to be rescued. I have it in a planter that I got from Ontario, California and this planter cost me like under $5 guys. I can propagate this in so many places. There's aerial roots everywhere, but I just love the quirkiness and the wildness of it all. I'm gonna keep it as is. And it's kind of crazy because when I bought this plant, it did not look like this. So if you wanna see how I brought it home, uh, find one of my recent Planting with Julian episodes. I featured me restyling this plant. I just have it on one of the bamboo sticks that it came with and I styled it in a way where it's in its natural form crazy and wild i'm gonna get my original one so you can see what my original one looks like which is not as big as this one but definitely a statement piece so here is my original philodendron panda as you can see it is still cool very interesting plant height wise it is not as big and i can go ahead and propagate this one because this one's not too good okay i'll go ahead and propagate this there's some arrow roots. It probably got banged up from just me grabbing and not being careful. This plant is, um, it's big and it takes up a lot of space. So you definitely want to be careful when you're transporting the plant. Okay. So yeah, guys, this is my original one. As you can see, tons of dimension, but compared to, and I'm going to try to get out of the frame so you can see height wise. They, there they are side by side so much jungle vibes but my newest one is just Trump in my original one but I love them both so much and my newest one lives in my bathroom and this one lives outside my original my one. allergies is now flaring up so I'm gonna put this one down so you can see me so apparently guys a lot of my uh, top 10 plants for house plants live in my bathroom. I don't know why, but that's the way how it works for some reason. My Alocasia Regal Shield. You guys already know. I love Alocasias. I will get my dream Alocasia, my, the Caladora version for my birthday because it's like about $100. Alocasias are expensive, guys. So this one lives on my bathroom tub. Literally, it does. It lives on the edge of my bathroom tub right where my string of hearts is in that section. This plant I scored at the Pasadena Rose Bowl Flea Market at one of my favorite plant vendors last year. It has grown so much on me. I love the foliage, I love the jungle vibes, and I could not pass up not including this particular plant in today's episode. It also has like interesting blooms that gives me like feminine vibes. Uh, but this is such a cool plant. It definitely needs a name, but I could not pass up not sharing this plant with you guys for today's top 10 and now when I take a look at the plant I see one mealybug so I'm gonna have to take it off so it's important to check the plant I'm gonna wipe down the leaves on the bottom and top so I'm glad I was able to catch that I rarely get mealybugs but I see one under here so I'm gonna take it off and then double check everything and if worse comes to worse, I will just go ahead and dump the whole soil if I feel like it's a problem. 
but it's like very rare i get melee bugs but i see one so i'm gonna take care of that but sound off down below guys if you have the regal shield alocasia how big is it it's definitely a statement piece and i've seen this plant in retail spaces that is so so big i can't wait for mine to get that big and then i don't know what i'm gonna do because then i won't be able to fit in my shower but for now it lives on my shower here's another new plant find of mine it's kind of crazy because this particular retail space i got three plants I got my philodendron panda, my biggest one, this one, and another plant you'll see in a second that's made it on my top 10. I don't know how that works out. I love philodendrons. This is the red emerald. I don't have this plant. This is a newly acquired plant to my collection. This thing is so jungle vibes. I love this thing so much. No matter where you turn the plant, there's so many cool dimensions to this. This is the first time actually too I've seen the red emerald in person. And this was definitely a rescue. It needed to be rescued. I have it staked on one of the bamboo poles that came with it. But the plant did not look like this. I'm pretty sure this is very easy to propagate. I see lots of aerial roots. Philodendrons in general are easy to propagate. So we'll see. I'll probably propagate maybe one clipping from each of my newest philodendrons for my propagation video I'll do soon for spring. Propagating from my collection. But sound off down below guys. Do you have the red emerald? How big is yours? It's living in that same white planter that I got from Ontario, California that all of my newest philodendrons are living in. I love this thing so much. This lives currently next to my Dracaena on my bathroom floor. So it gets a lot of humidity. And I just love the jungle vibes of this philodendron. I have to go back in my bathroom for another top 10 plant. This is my Monstera Adansonii and i've had this plant for a while oh no it's hooking up to my string of hearts don't do that so this is my monstera adansonii this plant did not like me going to egypt and leaving it for a very long time outside in my patio so i traveled to egypt and you know i lost a lot of sense of areas in my collection now i can tell you with my monstera adansonii it did not like me going to egypt this is a very uh, finicky plant it likes to be um, in a humid environment uh, and it does not like to be left alone for a long time so since I've been back from Egypt it now lives in my bathroom full time and I'm hoping to get it back to where it used to be now that I'm home and able to take care of this thing um, but I definitely love this plant this was definitely a wish list plant of mine I believe I got this from my local flea market here in Los Angeles I got this plant sometime last year it lives in a terracotta macrame system and this hangs now in my bathroom door on my hanging section I created with door hooks and you'll see when I do my updated plant tour for my bathroom I have about 50 plants living in my bathroom now with its current setup so stay tuned you'll see the monster Anansonii um, in that particular video and I don't want to touch this plant this plant is definitely a wish list plant of mine if you ever come across this plant, I highly recommend it, especially if you love philodendrons. This is a good one to have. Okay, so I guess to wrap up the video, I don't know how this is happening, guys. I have another philodendron, and this is my newest one. Now, that particular plant nursery that I went to, I don't know how that happened. And this place is like about 40 miles from me. I got yet another philodendron. So I got three philodendrons there, which all got featured in today's video. Here is my newest one, and I could not pass up not having this particular philodendron in my top 10. Do you see that? It's like a dog face. I love this thing so much. It is living in my bathroom next to my panda philodendron that came from the same plant nursery. What do you guys think about this philodendron? It is so cool. I have it just on a stake that the plant came with, but I restyled it. It did not look like this. It was in definite need of being rescued. I've never seen this particular philodendron before. And when I came across it, I was so blown away. This is such plant goals for me. Again, it wasn't a wish list plant because I've never seen this plant before, so I wasn't aware of it. But now that I have it in my collection, this is definitely a sought out plant for me. As you can see, here's its newest unfurled leaf. Look at that. It's still in the process of being unfurled. So I know it's super happy and I love the bargain that I got on these planters. I bought seven of these larger ones. I should have bought more because I think I'm about to use up the last one, which is unfortunate, but I can always drive out to Ontario if I want to get more. 
but sound off down below guys do you have this particular philodendron in your collection are you a philodendron lover because um, apparently a lot of the plants i talked about in today's top 10 were philodendrons which is very surprising to me george will always be number one in my heart george my beautiful monstera deliciosa george you guys know he's number one in my heart but i wanted to give another spot to one of these babies instead of him he is the current reigning Planting with Julin 2018 Plant Awards winner. He is first place for the year, so he will reign for the rest of the year. But let me know your guys' thoughts on the, my current top 10. It was very hard, guys, because there were so many things in my bathroom that I love, like my Tritoscantias. I just, I can't. I think I might have to do a top 20. All of my Hoyas, I love Hoyas so much. My Hoya Carnosa Tricolor is definitely another favorite. So I think the next time I do my top 10 series, I'll go ahead and I'll save two spots for Hoyas because you guys know I am a huge Hoya collector, It's which is also on my collective series. So that's kind of surprising that I chose more philodendrons and a couple peperomias over Hoyas um, because I love Hoyas so much. But um, yeah guys, I could not pass up these babies. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Sound off down below if you have any of the house plants that I featured in today's video. What do you think about my current top 10? And also, what plant would you like to see me propagate if I can from this collection for my propagation video that I'm going to be doing for this spring? So let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway and the giveaway rules. My giveaway rules applies for any of my giveaways. You have to be subscribed to my main channel, Isla Julian, my vlog channel, Miss Julian, which has all of my travel and food content. Currently, right now, I have my travel with Julian Egypt content going up on the channel I do invest a lot of time on my vlog channel so go ahead and support that channel as well also be sure that your profile is public on YouTube so I can go ahead and check your subscriptions and also be following me on Instagram my main account underscore Isla Julian and planting with Julian also leave a comment down below your country city state that you live in so I know where you're located and what is your current number one houseplant in your collection and if you don't have any house plants, what is your number one plant that you would like to add to your collection? I'll go ahead and I'll pick a winner one week from the time this video goes live. I will be announcing the winner on my Planting with Julian Instagram and reaching out to you guys on a direct message. We'll have all of the giveaway rules in the description box down below. So go ahead and check that out for reference. So let's go ahead and talk about the giveaway. And I'm going to be choosing two winners this time instead of one. And I could not pass up not giving you guys these cute hour planters. So two of you guys are going to win one or the other and i'm not going to say which color i'll just randomly choose what color you'll get and i love these owl planters so much i have the white one like this and these colors are so cute i could not pass up buying it i've been like hoarding animal planters for giveaways so i want you guys to be able to win these so follow the rules down below and i'll pick a winner in a week and all I ask is that if you send me a picture of a plant planted up in this so I can share it on the channel, I'll go ahead and pick two winners and you'll randomly get one color each. I hope you guys enjoy the giveaway. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I have over 400 videos on this channel that you can go ahead and binge watch on and feel plant inspired. I hope you guys enjoyed this quarterly series on the channel featuring my top 10 plants. I just featured 30 plants in my collection, guys, and boy, that was hard. So stay tuned. I can't wait to go ahead and do this in a couple of months. If you guys enjoyed this series, give this video a big thumbs up and I'll continue to do it on a quarterly basis. You can find more on my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye. Mm -hmm.